One, two, three, four, we're cracking up Mondays with Brian Lester. You're out of the show. Uh, that was for you, YouTube. That was for you, YouTube. Anyway, go on. Brian is following uh, yeah, the stream. I, 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 was, I was on an adventure. I was recording an album in uh, Nashville, Tennessee. Um, and uh, it was a really big deal because according to everyone, all the engineers and wonderful people we worked with, it was the first album in the history of Nashville that had ever been recorded that wasn't country or Christian music. Wow. So That's impressive. Yes. You um, can put that on the album. Yeah. The only one. You see no video? That's bullshit. That's your problem. We are um, we are broadcasting for realsies right now. Yeah, I, I'm I'm watching uh, us. I yeah. Think. No, it's 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 a real thing. So yeah, I was um I was I was away, and then Sam was sleepy, so we didn't have a show for two weeks. We were literally sitting here like about to start, and then Sam was just like, no. <laughs> we just well, it was just like we just couldn't do it, you know. Um, uh, the video is really bad. I gotta, we gotta figure this out. Yeah, we we we've moved, uh, you know, from the bulk of this season to our uh, our apartment we're broadcasting from because the Monkey Palace's internet is just so my balls. Uh, but um, now it's like not much better here. And, like uh, all. Well, uh, no, I don't actually think it's the internet. I think it's my computer. Okay. I think my computer is slowing down all very much so a lot. So yeah, we'll um we'll we'll figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. We're gonna figure it out. Anyway, uh so uh we got some stuff to talk about on the show tonight. We got news, we got uh Mars, we got uh movies and Star Wars. We got Star Wars and, and the other internet movies and the internet and basically all the fucking shit we usually talk about. We got a normal show, but uh, for some reason it's gonna be extra awesome. Also, we have a special guest star coming on later. First one of the season. Which is First big. one of the season. Bring back your questions. We were going to do more guests this season, and we've actually done less than any season, as in none. Well, you know, I was thinking about it, but uh, I uh, I feel like uh, we don't know many people. Yeah. So. All our all our rowdy friends have settled down, so. Um, we already had everybody on the show that matters, really. Yeah. You know, and like, we're just, we're like. Rude. And some of them we've had on like six times. Some people who think it may be rude uh, don't actually want to be on the show <laughs> and are speaking out of turn. Yeah. In any case, uh, so let's get started. Um, uh, in the news... Here's Sam with the weather. In the news... Uh, today in weather, uh, the weather sucks. It was actually super nice out today here in Boston, but everywhere else... The weather is actually destroying people and their livelihoods. It's true. There was a horrible. There was a horrible storm. One of the biggest storms ever uh, in the south east Pacific, southwest Pacific, uh, South Pacific, uh, and it destroyed the Philippines very greatly. Uh, and then yesterday there were uh, how many? Does it say on our facting sheet here? I, ten million tornadoes. I wrote ten million. That was. The is fact this a that tornado I, that's farting? Is that what well? That's doing? a tor. We realized that tornado sounds like tornanus. Oh, so that's oh, a that's that a that's a picture of a tornanus. <laughs> so it's got a little butthole on the top. Maybe Where the is butthole. The tear? Um, it's not torn. It's like perfect. Um, oh, I don't what know. What a beautiful butthole. Uh, Maybe the butthole should have been at the end. Should have been at like the tip. Okay, guys. Question of the day. I uh, we're polling this. I want to know what you have to say. A tornanus is the anus at the tip of the tornado, like down where it comes to a point, or is it up at the top, like above the clouds, like the size of the whole? Well, I think it's the at the top because then it's just farting out all the then debris. Then throwing it out. So this is like the this is the mouth, and then the tornanus is at yeah. the top. Yeah. Yes. Um. Anyway. Uh. Sorry. Someone. Uh. You streamer. Uh. Eight three five nine four two. Uh. Tang's view sadly has been discontinued for the time being. Uh, because because Tang, Tang has been discontinued. Is, Tang has been discontinued, basically. Um, I'm gonna see if we can can Skype him in or have him pre-record spew because we really haven't had any in a while. But yeah. um, he was actually in Tennessee with me. Um, he's uh, he's working the land with his hands. Yeah, actually toiling. He's toiling. He's toiling to his death beneath the sun. Um, but yeah, we'll see if we can we can get that one back on. Oh, this point. this this person claims that it's at the bottom. The anus is at the bottom. You think the anus is at the because bottom because it's tight. Because it's, yeah, see that's what I was thinking. But 
I like to imagine that tornadoes have loose anuses. Yeah, well, that's another thing. Which loose, which breezy anuses? Which aspect of the anus is are we like are a, we emphasizing? Like the way I imagine a hippo anus is, you know, just sort of just like <laughs> like vocal cords. You know, or uh, oh, that what your vocal cords are like? Yeah, well, yeah, because vocal cords are like this. They're like, are they? Yes. I guess I've never. Have seen you ever it. seen vocal cords? No, I've never. They're seen like two vocal. cords, and they go and they vibrate, and that's what makes throats work. With I didn't noise. know that. Noises on the I throat. I know that. Anyway, uh, so the weather, the weather really sucks, guys. Except for today, yeah, it was very beautiful. It was really nice, uh, and uh, I, I, this is one of those things where I heard about all these tornadoes it was like oh man that sucks and i like i like dug for empathy like really deep because i was like i gotta like know someone who's been affected by this and like there was just no one yeah um i did a friend of mine a a fairly distant relative of hers had their house wrecked up and i was like there it is i got it but i like, saw one picture of a guy that was really happy because his house had been destroyed by their tornado. And he was like, fuck that but house. his PS4 survived. <laughs> and so he was really, really happy. I heard that they were finding um, s- f- um, debris from like a hun- in Chicago from like 100 miles south. I, I mean, maybe. I like, don't know. Like, it was just getting up into the stratosphere. It's like, woo! The wind just goes like, places, you know? Yeah. It's, it's got a mind of its own. It's its own... Spirit elemental, you know, and it's, it's just it's just taken. Can, yeah, hey guys, I made a clay guy with a Goya refresco cap in his chest. Check that shit out. Yo, but Goya, the taste will destroy ya. Is that really what it's called? No, yo, it's from a show. Anyway, uh, also in the news, uh, <laughs> the guy just says weather fuck. Uh, oh, the mayor. The mayor. The of- mayor does crack. <laughs> That's, uh, what, that's what our, so our title says here. The, the, mayor. the mayor of Toronto, uh, I want to call him Bob Dole, but that's not his name. But it's something just as simple as that. It's J- Dave Johnson? Mayor of Toronto. Anyway, uh, the mayor of Toronto uh, smokes crack. Uh, Rob Ford, that's his name, Rob Ford. Uh, smokes crack. Oh, and, yeah, look uh, at that guy. He, yeah, uh, totally. He has admitted that he does it, uh, but uh, doesn't is not going to resign. Refuses to resign from what a, office. What a fucking badass. Uh, so, well, no, I don't know if smoking crack makes him a badass. Uh, no, not, no, just being like, yeah, I smoke crack. What are you going to do about it? Uh, but, it, well, what they're going to do about like, it is the city council voted to strip him of many of his mayoral rights and okay. powers. What are mayoral rights? Well, mayoral powers, you know, being mayor. He can, like, make calls and stuff. Okay. For, like, could decide what to do okay. with, with the with the thing, and, and make the make the world make the city go round. Okay, but he's on crack, so he can't make it go all the way around because he just gets confused and then sp- just splits the you know tangent. What? No, C can't. C can't. Right? Right, Jordan. I don't know what you're trying. To Which say. is the one oh, that wait. connects one point on the circle to another point in the circle? That's not the diameter. That's not in a. It, no, that's not. The complete diameter. Is that secant? I think that's secant. I don't believe that's secant, but I could be wrong. Because I'm not entirely clear. Right. What you're What's the one that goes off the circle? The one it's... that only touches the circle once? Yeah. That's a tangent line. Okay, that's a tangent. So secant is the one that goes from point to point, right? Hey. Maybe. I don't really know what you're talking about. If he smokes crack, that makes him a badass because he Shh. smokes crack. You're, you're going to give away the, the surprise. <laughs> uh, I'll get back to you. Okay. Anyway, so I don't remember what I was talking Our about. Our mathematical correspondent name? slash executive producer Jordan Tower slash craft services specialist um, is going to look up our caterer Jordan Tower is going to look up um, what a thing is. What a C can't touches the circle twice. What up? There we go. Thank you, YouTuber two seven seven three seven eight. Uh, anyway, uh, so, what was I talking about? Oh, oh, he's, cause he's on crack. Anyway, uh, so, um. See, cunt. Uh, uh, anyway, um, see, can't, see, man. Uh, so anyway, uh, so that guy smoked crack, and, uh, so they're, <laughs> so they're stripping him of some of his rights. And this is crazy, this guy's, like, up in Toronto, which is an awesome city, I've been there, I, he's not doing a bad job. He's just smoking a lot of crack, you know? So I'm kind of like, 
Yeah, whatever, man. This is what I was saying. I got. I'm kind of like, it. yeah. Anyway. As long as he's not hurting anybody. Dude, you know, John Popper smoked crack, and I know because I know people who know people who smoked crack with him. And uh, John Crack, John John Popper, <laughs> John Crack, John Popper was the, <laughs> the greatest harmonica player who's ever lived, which is way harder than being mayor. So, uh, you know. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. What if there was a harmonica player that was also the mayor? That would be awesome. That would just be crazy. The whole universe would just explode. Yeah. Uh, what else is in the news, Brian? Um, what does that say? Not a lot. Oh, oh well, Pope's still Sam, cool. Sam, uh, I, we have a headline here that says the Pope is still cool. I saw a, I work at a restaurant and uh, I work behind the bar and uh, there was no one in the restaurant today. So I had a lot of time to stare at Fox News, which is the most insipid thing in the world, even when it's muted, which sounds surprising, but the people are just so pretty ugly, and the words are just so offensive and biased and horrible. In any case, I saw a funny thing today. They had some uh, reverend on. Uh, they're talking about Pope Francis and how he's a, he's a, he's a you know, neato dude. And, uh, and the headline underneath, because, you know, I couldn't hear what they were saying, but the headline underneath said, Republicans think that GOP could learn from Pope Francis. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, take a page out of his Pope book, you know, don't act like a bunch of jerks, and then maybe we can all get along, it'll Dude, be okay. Yeah, I think everyone could learn from the cool Pope. It's true, like, I, this Pope is, he's like actually the Pope. He's not like a, you know what I mean? Like, he's, yeah. he's actually, he's like actually the Pope. Hey, I wonder if he's ever met the Dalai Lama. I don't know. I hope so, though. Dude, they'd have I, a party. Yeah, they, I feel like they'd just take their shoes off and, like, dip them in hot water together and just, like, giggle. <laughs> you know? Like, I feel like they'd just sit sit with each other and just be like, hey, buddy. What's up, man? You know what I mean? <laughs> what the fuck are you talking about? Uh... <laughs> I don't know. I just <laughs> that's just what's popped in your head. I feel like that's what they would do. You know, they just like hang out and like like splash water at each other. <laughs> they'd get pennies, but really yeah. slow. They'd be like, oh. <laughs> 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 you know what I mean? <laughs> uh, did you know when you say poop, your mouth does what your butt does? Because <laughs> it poops. <laughs> Or maybe because it goes. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, it's physically onomatopoetic. Wow! It, it doesn't mimic the sound. It, it sort of mimics the sound, but mimics the motion. Let's sing a song about poop, Brian. Ready? Here we go. Pooping out my mouth. Pooping out my butt. It's the same thing. It's the same thing. It's the same apple thing. Anyway, uh, also in the news, there are uh, other things well, that happen. We're going to do our segment, our sub-news segment, that we haven't gotten to, done in a while, because there was no NASA, which was the fucking worst thing ever, but now Sam and Brian are going back to space. Whoa! Whoa! In space again! Aren't you excited? It's so bright here in space. Uh, yeah, so there's not actually a lot of space news. Um, but there is some. But there is a, an amount of space, oh, space news tea. that sure. is an, a, an amount. Uh, Why did this stop? Oh, it's paused because it was slowing down the feed. Oh, okay. Now I'm at 96% CPU usage instead of 100. <laughs> uh, <laughs> anyway, um, uh, oh, oh, so, uh, uh, besides, there's, there's, um, India sent a probe to Mars, sent their first probe to Mars, which is pretty cool. Um, I love it when going, countries guys. besides America are actually, you know, competitive in space or, you know, have the ability to be as exploitative as we are. Uh, but also, um, Sorry if we froze. We're back now. Uh, uh, today, uh, NASA launched their space probe, Maven. Recording. Yeah, it's, it's fine. Um, and uh, Maven stands for Mars Atmosphere and Volatile Evolution. N evolution. Um, so basically, what this what this probe is gonna it's gonna orbit Mars and it's going to uh, take readings of its atmosphere 
and take readings of uh, the magnetic fields and um, sort of how not just the 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 um, the composition of the atmosphere functions, but you know how oh, you're the fucking soaking wet. What the hell? The entire atmosphere as a as a as a you know planetary head. mass uh, functions. Yeah, she stuck her head in the toilet. That's she's like really super she's wet. Just, she's just messy. Yeah, you're just messy. Uh, anyway, um, so that's that's pretty cool. Um, I think that this is uh, a cool sort of opportunity to. Um, oh, here we go. Still freezing? No, we're we're good. Directly towards terraforming Mars, but just in general, uh, learning maybe how to terraform or how to uh, reverse, uh, you know, uh, reverse, uh, you know, climate change. Not in the sense that we talk about climate change so colloquially in the news today, but just climate change is a thing that happens. Um, um, new poll. Not really even a poll, but just in the comments. Just talk about, uh, give me you guys' thoughts on terraforming Mars. Yeah, we, uh, yeah. Uh, we've, it's definitely not a new subject for us, but do we're always comments. talking at you. I want to hear what you guys have to say about terraforming Mars. Because terraforming Mars is both a cool thing and a terrifying thing. Uh, you know, excessive human colonization of other planets uh, leads to the further possibilities that uh, hostile alien civilizations will come trying to invade us for fear that we will eventually take them over. Um, it does also lead to getting people the fuck off of Earth, which I'm all, all about. I mean, so. that too. It also leads to uh, dirty feet, because there's dirt, there's a lot of dirt on Mars. Yeah. It also, uh, mm, uh, other stuff. Yeah, you gotta be careful. Awesome. You gotta be careful, man. Your feet are getting dirty. <laughs> Wait, yeah. what was that? Possible terrifying contaminated water. Yeah, oh, yeah, contaminated water. Oh yeah, terrifying contaminated water yeah. turns into think a water of, zombie. Think of all the the movies from on Mars that shit that could suck that happened. Think of we could um, there could be little bugs with a really mean robot, and there could be a big face with dinosaurs inside of it, or a big face with uh, you know uh, Michael Keaton in it. Yeah. Who knows? Or uh, uh, other things that are on Mars? Yeah. There could be, like, uh, bat, rat, spider crabs, like on Angry Red Planet. We don't know what's going to happen. There could be... Remember? There, there were, could be the freaking Martians, like uh, like John Jones, who are shapeshifters and are afraid of fire. Or, or like, like, from Mars Attacks. Or, like, the Martians from Mars Attacks, which have brains. Yeah. And, or, again, the crazy contaminated water zombie monsters from Mars. Or, like, the episode of Dexter's Lab when Dexter thought Dee Dee was an alien, but she was actually just covered in fucking shit. Remember that? Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, so Mars. Yay or nay? Because, you know... Why not? There's not a lot to consume on Mars. There's, Honestly. There, there are no candy bars to consume. Uh, there, are, There's no vegetation to consume. Check out my mug. That's pretty sweet, man. It's a gnome. It's a gnome? Going, going. Mm, moving on. Moving on. Um. We're going we're gonna to have a quick edition of a segment, a new segment, where we try to think of a, uh, a funny URL to put in, something that may or may not be a website, and we're going to see if it is. So if anyone... Um, yeah, uh, that, that, that's, a, that's, a, you know, that's definitely a good point. Let's spend money on you know, saving ourselves before we send us elsewhere. But maybe that money going to sending us elsewhere will help save us, you know? I, 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 think, that it's, that's I, kind think, of, I think it's kind of too far out there to say that that is necessarily a bad thing to spend money on. If we if we get people off of this planet, this planet will be much better off. Yeah, no, I, I definitely my, think that that's my true. Idea. I, I definitely think that that's true. And this, you know, sending people to Mars could be spending that money on something that that would be helping people. Um, anyway, are we doing this or are we doing something else? 
Um, is this a gonna, two part se- no, sequence? No, sequence? I think it's because we have this. We have this. Remember? We have. Oh, we have. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna go, guys. You guys want to go through a corn maze? Oh yeah. yeah okay. So well, let's do that. We got a two part segment. Uh, it, that's called exploring the internet. No, that's boring. Uh, that's Internet called, Explorer. That's called Internet Explorer. <laughs> uh, we have a two-part segment called Internet Explorer right now. Uh, tonight it's two parts. Uh, first part. Uh, we're tonight going it's to... kind of like three parts, and one of them is a di- Fuck it. We're going to do a corn maze. We're going to do a corn maze. We're also going to uh, find a crazy phrase and plug it into .com and see if it comes out the internet. So you guys start talking. So start talking. Uh, tossing out crazy, crazy crazyphrases.com possiblewebsites.com yeah. I'm, I'm oscar.com uh, anyway um, so but first we'll do the corn maze while you all are doing that so uh, I, I found a corn maze there's a there's a corn maze on google maps so give me a minute here I gotta switch over to the other thing so that you can see it and make sure that you can still hear me you can good okay so here we go look there's our website and here is google maps and look at that that's a corn maze and that right there is a corn maze. Can we look around at the at the entrance of this corn yeah, maze? Yes, so there is the sign that says corn maze. And then if we go like this, we're in the middle of nowhere. Where is this exactly? Uh, Spruce Grove, Alberta, Canada. Ooh. Yeah, it's very nice in Alberta, it looks like. Yeah, and then it's, this must have been taken in spring. Oh, look, and it says right here, Street View Challenge. Oh, I, I zoomed in. Sorry, hang on, wait, I'm not done yet. Street View Challenge. They actually did this for Google, and uh, it's like a it's like a thing. That's pretty cool. Anyway, so let's do the let's do this maze. Let's see where it takes us. We're gonna go in here. It's gonna warp us. Oh oh, there's already a fork in the road. Left or right, Brian? Um, let's go. Here's the great thing. I can ask the audience for directions, but it's gonna be delayed, so they're gonna keep getting us lost. Okay. Well, so I'm gonna say for right now. I'm gonna say left. Okay, left. again oh i'm sorry guys the, it's the computer stuff we're on a bridge now we got up on this bridge no it's back it's oh, here okay here we go sorry about that um yeah we're on this bridge and uh we're overlooking this corn maze and the sun is setting in the west or the east i guess it could be setting in the east on this evening because who knows how the sun this, decides where it's going to sit. This set. could be the evening that King Sisha rises to battle Mechagodzilla. Yeah. Does anyone have any fucking clue what I'm talking about? Is this the way we came from? No, this is the other way. Okay. Now we're going down the stairs on the other side, and we're going to go left now. Was it the children of the corn? Yeah, it's, I, it was probably the children of the corn created that lag. What? Can we not go that way? For, ah. Ooh, oh, there's some corn right there for you. There you go. That's looking pretty good. 
Um, it doesn't look ready yet to me. Wait, now we just went back up. We went back to the stairs. Uh, this is intense. Oh, here we go. Incredibly here we go. disorienting. This is where, this is where we're going. Okay, okay, what do we got? We got some options. Wait, hang on. We're going to get options right now. Okay, guys, left or right? Shoot, no, just left, <laughs> it looks like. <laughs> Even though I can clearly... Oh, what? Oh, I think I went right without... This is just a huge mess. This is going crazy. All right, that's enough of the corn maze. That's yeah, enough. That's is, enough corn maze. This corn maze is impossible. It's making me have, dizzy. That's what we have determined. Um, is there a way they can find that and go try and do it themselves? Yeah, if you want to go see the corn maze, um, throw up a link. Just go to uh, a link that I will give to you somehow. Oh, here we go. What did I think of Monster Madness? Oh, that's a good question. Yeah. Um, Send. I honestly, I thought this was one of the best Monster Madnesses that there's ever been. Oh, censored. Did uh, I say censored? Yeah, it didn't take the link. Okay. Um, we'll, we'll figure it I'm out. I'm going to post it on Facebook, guys. If you if you want to check out the link, I'm going to post it on Facebook right freaking now. Right freaking now. On the McCracken and Midnight uh, page on Facebook. So, okay, guys, in case you didn't know, Monster Madness, one of my favorite websites, Cinemasker.com, does um, every October for like seven years. They do a monster movie review every month for all of October. And, um, what? A day. They do a day for the, a monster movie review a day for the whole month. There you go. Whatever, man. It's been a long day. And they, uh, uh, it's called Monster Madness on Cinemasker.com. And it was awesome this year. It was the second year that they've only done sequels. I'm calling Carbia on that question. Uh, uh huh? Uh, no, I think it was, I think it was, uh, it was either Alex or Mr. Chris O'Grady who asked that. I interesting, interesting. Yeah. Um, but yeah, Monster Madness was great. They, uh, we looked at, um... A bunch of Gamera movies, which was really exciting, and he actually talked specifically about the Just for Kids VHS releases that I that I actually had, nice. and he like talked about the um the weird friggin' like intro zone with kids like adjusting their track on TV, which really like stuck in my mind with those. So that was really cool. Did, did you just draw like? It's back now. I don't. Ugh. Sorry, that cut out right in the middle of our song about it's, excessive labia. It's okay. It's it, it's it's. You know. Um. But yeah. Anyway, that was Monster Madness. I that was a really good one, and it ended with a full commentary of, of uh, of um Night of the Living Dead, which I haven't watched yet, but um I'll get to it. Yeah. Saying lag while watching this show is like saying we're in a plane when you're on a plane, <laughs> or like. It's hot when you're standing in a volcano. Like, that's like... Don't even bother. That's like eating a cookie and saying, this tastes like a cookie. What are other obvious things, Brian? Um, it's like saying... It's like standing around with Sam and saying, like, fucking Sam's a dick. Yeah, it's just <laughs> what happens. It's just, it's like, totally, it's like, duh. Uh, anyway, it's so, like watching a Mac and McCracken at midnight and saying, like, I want to go to bed. <laughs> <laughs> I do want to go to bed. <laughs> anyway, uh, so, um, oh, oh, let's try out some, uh, some user-submitted, um, links. I don't know if they gave us any. Let's see, I think they did. Uh, oh, what happened? Censored those guys. You should try excessively. Let's try excessively. All right, we're going to try excessivelabia.com. Here we go, here we go. Are you guys ready? I don't know ready? what you guys are, are... I don't know what you're trying to draw. Okay, here we go. figure that out. Oh, that's not how you spell excessive. How do you spell excessive? E-X-C-E. C, I got excessivelabia.com. Oh, no!
Uh, we're back. Don't worry. I don't know why. That's annoying. Um, what's another website? Uh, mm, port well, let's look, look, let's... dog dot com. <laughs> Oh yeah, totally. Tornanus. Oh no, because that's gonna be real. No, it doesn't what? exist. No tornanus. No one, com? no one is taking advantage appropriately of the disgusting. No, but we can't we stop can until we oh, find. Okay, them. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Um, um, I'm looking back over the comments to see if I can find anything. Uh, um. Uh, 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 no, it was after that. From Doom. Yeah, there like isn't one. Ah, uh, the only thing. Ooh, Spruce Spruce Grove. Spruce, Spruce Grove dot com. It's gonna be boring. Spruce Grove dot com. Sp oh, buy this domain. You know why do some come up with buy this domain and some come up with this? Some people don't buy the things. All right, let's let's just go through here. Fire bands. <laughs> what? Fire bands. Wow. dot com slash fire bands. Oh, someone's calling me. Current fire restrictions in Laramere County. Is it your butt? Fireworks no. do not include educational rockets. We can use educational rockets then. That's good. In in where is this? Larimer County. Larimer. Larimer. I don't know where that is though. Uh, Larimer, uh, Colorado. Okay, Let's keep that. Fort in mind, Collins. Guys. Fort Collins, Colorado. Fort Collins. When you're in Fort Collins, Colorado, no fires, but you can use educational. You can use rockets. educational rockets all you want though. <laughs> um. All right. So anyway, moving on. Um. Let's moving talk on. about movies because we got movies. a lot of movies. We're to talk gonna about. talk about first. The new Thor movie. The new Thor. The, the new. Mm, we've all me. we've all seen it. It's awesome. It is awesome. If you haven't seen it, you should see it. I feel like there's almost nothing else to say about it aside from it was awesome. It was just so great. Um, I know a couple of you viewers have seen it, so throw up. You can throw just throw up. <laughs> just, just throw up. <laughs> <laughs> right now, puke and type while you're doing it. Try to mimic the sound of you throwing up with your. Like, try to uh, capture that with typing? What happened? Nothing happened. Your, Nothing happened. Your face happened. It was your fault that time. All right, anyway, Thor was great. Um, phase two of Marvel is turning out to be pretty awesome. Yep. Uh, it, it set up very nicely uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy movie. Um, well, apparently the guy who directed um, Super... Who with that we talked about a couple weeks ago? Really, really cool movie, and I can't, I don't know his name, but apparently that guy is directing Guardians of the Galaxy. Larry Bird. Larry Bird. No, it's not. It's, the no, it's not Larry Bird. He retired from basketball to Brad direct Bird. Super, I don't fucking it's know. It's not Brad Bird. Ray Bradbury. Ray Bradbury. It's probably Ray Bradbury. Probably. Anyway, yeah, that guy is gonna direct it. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and uh. uh that's going to be a really cool movie. I'm excited. You know, I was talking to somebody today who doesn't know a lot about comics, and he was like, he was like, uh, oh, that sounds like really stupid. Because I was talking about like Rocket Raccoon, and there's a tree on the team, and. James Gunn. James Gunn. Thank you, James Gunn. James Gunn. Uh, uh, fact checker Jordan Tower. Uh, um, anyway, he was like, that sounds really stupid and kind of cheesy and like is sounds like a horrible idea. And no. it's not. Because, yeah, Rocket Raccoon is a rocket. I mean, a raccoon. But he also has a rocket. <laughs> like, he's a talking raccoon that has a rocket launcher. How does that sound stupid at all, yeah, Brian? It doesn't. Not, not you, other Brian. No way. Oh, this is that guy? Yeah, this is that, that guy. That fucking guy who took my name? Yeah, that guy that stole your name from you. <laughs> anyway, uh, so that's pretty cool. Uh, it set up that really nicely. Uh, there were hilarious bits tying it into the rest of the Marvel Universe. Um... You know, Thor, man. Yeah. Thor um, it yeah, up. Yeah, I don't even want to talk about it. it Thor and Oak and Shield. Just, just see it. Just go see it. Thor and Thor and. All right, we're back. 
Uh, about a week ago, I think, um, uh, Star Wars Disney was like, hey, everyone in the world, we're having open casting calls. You know what? That, that uh, tea smells like toothpaste. Does it? Yeah, I can smell that. Anyway, uh, Disney was like, we're going to have open casting calls for two major roles in the upcoming Star Wars film. Online, you can submit your applications and videos. So I was like, you're basically, duh. You're basically a huge asshole if you don't try out for it's Star Wars. It's true. It's like, if like, you don't try out for Star Wars, like, you, you don't deserve to live. Like, what are you doing? It's like you, you <laughs> saw dying children, and you're just like, yeah, whatever. That's, yeah. that's It's on the same level as that. It's like you... I'm done with analogies for tonight. Uh, anyway, so I immediately went to the website uh, and looked at the things, and they're looking for a girl and a guy. And I put in my email, and I got the side, the script. And so Brian and I right now are going to act out the script. We're going to try out for Star Wars. So right we're going to try out for Star Wars right now. And this isn't Star Wars if you're watching. This isn't my official audition, just so you know. No, well, this is like a practice. This is like a practice run, okay? Uh, anyway, so here we go. Because um, we haven't even looked at the script yet, or I haven't at least. Uh, let's 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 scroll. Here we go. Um, helpful tips. That's nice. Uh, okay, so there are two characters. There's Thomas and Rachel. I believe they're siblings, but I'm not sure. Um, um, and. Uh, Mystery person off the camera. Can you you can read that? Can you read that from there? Yeah. Do you want to read the stage directions? Sure. Okay, go ahead. Oh, uh, we're gonna do this twice. Once where I'm Thomas and Brian is Rachel, and then once where Brian is Thomas and I'm Rachel. So I'm Rachel this time. Yeah, you're gonna be Rachel this time. Okay. Okay, go for it. Rachel labors to bear Thomas's weight as they inch their way down the deserted road, blood dripping from his leg. He's trying to stomach an apple. Can't you go any faster? Shut up and eat your apple. He enjoyed that, but every step is sheer agony on the leg. There's a barn a little further up the road. A big barn, dark and damp. Rachel covers the floor with hay, then lays out her sleeping bag. Thomas looks through her backpack for anything he can use as a bandage. You need rest. She lowers him down, which puts her face mere inches from his open wound. She cringes without meaning to. Sorry, I know it's... It's fine. I'm just not a big fan of blood. You know, for such a tough girl, you're kind of squeamish. Your fever's still up. And we have to get some more food in you. I'm not hungry. It wasn't a request. She sits down next to him and takes out a loaf of bread. Rachel, thanks for coming to get me. Family has to stick together, right? She starts to rise. He grabs her hand. Dead serious. Listen, if I don't make it, but, but if I don't... Before he can finish, she drops down next to him and looks him dead in the eye. You're not going to die. I forbid it, okay? Okay. <laughs> Get some sleep. What about you? I will. In a bit. Boy, that was pretty good. Yeah. I feel like we don't need to do that again. <laughs> I think you do. No, no, I'm sure I don't, don't want to go through. I don't think that we need to do that again. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that's not going to be a scene that's in Star Wars. I, was just I, I think you have potential, but I think you need to try it again so we can uh, no. so we can see if you have the potential well, and the skill. We'll 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 see. Maybe maybe we'll do this every every week for a while. Yeah, uh, okay, it'll so get better every time. That is the side for. Oh, we're gonna put this this link up too, by the way, yeah. online, so everyone can, so can all y'all uh, try out for Star can try Wars. Out for Star Wars. Anyway, so uh, that was the side for the Star Wars audition. Um, yeah, hey Freya, that was the ukulele. Uh, anyway, um, if you want to do this, you have to unfortunately like sign up on the website and things like that. That's the part I'm not looking forward to. Come here. 
Uh, but um, come here, dummy. She can play Darth Vader. I'm pretty what, sure Darth Vader's dead. Just because she's black? Racist? Uh, but anyway, so if you want to audition for Star Wars, you have to do it by December 3rd. That is the date at which you need to have submitted your junk. To which is website. only like two weeks away, so... So do it! Yeah. Do All it. All right, at this point, um, I think we're going to invite on our, our guest. Is that all the movies we have to talk about? I think so. There's really nothing else. Unless you want to show your websites first. No, no, what? that was we showed the corn maze. That was my website. Okay. I'm gonna do one every day instead of like a bunch of different ones. Okay. You know. Uh, so we're gonna invite on our, our guest, our first guest of the season, um, Mr. Our producer Luke Palioka. Yay, hey, Luke! Woo! Hey, come sit. Over, you come, guys sit over here. Yeah. Come, come sit on the couch. Yeah. Hey, Luke. How's it going? Hey. Welcome to McCracken on Mondays with Brian. That's this guy over here. Wait, let me fix the camera a little bit. Ooh, ooh. All right, that's a little better. All right, so anyway, so, hey Luke. So here's Hi. what we're gonna do. Usually, usually, uh, Brian, explain care questions. Well, well, usually we have questions written out on little cards, but we didn't make it. What I'm gonna do. Sam's gonna start the interview like a normal interview, and then I'm gonna go make questions. Real quick. All right, so Luke, when you uh, so so I hear that you you enjoy um, you enjoy cartoons. I do. What's your, what what kind of cartoons do you enjoy? Uh, violent. Things it's like Tom, things. Tom and Jerry, you know. Um, oh, like really violent things. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I like stepping on the rake and getting hit in the face with the handle, That's and you know, brutal. getting like Heinous. sitting down on hot plates and flying up and go, having your. Oh, head. speaking of hot plates. Yeah. What, Brian? Yeah. Speaking of hot plates. Yeah. Don't worry about it. No, I'll do it in a second. Okay. Uh, anyway, uh, okay, so. Uh, with the cartoons, so um, when you when you're watching these cartoons, do you ever imagine uh, that you're in the cartoon? All all the time. As a matter of fact, my life essentially is one of those. Your cartoons. life is a cartoon. Yeah, I, I frequently fall down and hit my face, and I've never broken a bone, but I'm very wow. surprised that I haven't. Um, I've broken like two. Wow. Uh, I mean, I only have like ten bones. So that's that's, good. Yeah, that's that's twenty percent of my bones right there. I broke. Oh, wow. I can't find any note cards. Holy shit. Um, okay. Um, uh, well, what what kind of uh, foods do you like to eat uh, right before bed? Um, fried green tomatoes. Um. Ketchup covered squid. Cats up covered squid. Yeah. Yeah. Cats up squid. I like it. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, I think those are my two favorite things. Uh, and and maybe some uh, Maine made moonshine. You know, the state of Maine. You know, it makes Maine made. Yeah. Because you know, you're from Maine. Yeah, yeah. Wash it down with some moonshine. You know. Yeah, Brian. Do you have any questions? I I don't. Um, I'm I'm a little. Do you this moonshine you're talking about? Do you have a still? Of course, every Mainer has a still in their barn. Every Mainer has a still in their barn. Do you right? have Do you have a barn behind your uh, your studio apartment in Brookline? I should, <laughs> and I'm actually commissioning an architect as we speak. Oh. Awesome. Speaking of uh, as we speak, like look in this moment right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, wow, that's uh, impressive. Te telepathically, that's... right? You know, the architect that I am in contact with is actually sleeping right now, and I'm in his dreams. Wow. wow. Yeah. That's freaking creepy, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, it is almost midnight, and you know how architects need to get their well, sleep. That's, you know, I... <laughs> and they're most vulnerable at midnight. Yeah, yeah, so, they are. <laughs> I get that. All <laughs> architects famously are most vulnerable at midnight. That's uh, when their failed buildings tend to fall down. Yeah. I always wondered, man, I was like, what if we reach a point, I think actually in a class that we were in together once, I wrote a, a, some speculative science fiction about this. What if we reached a point where our, our, our society, like our... Um, you know, economy was so competitive that in order to, like, you could only stay ahead if you, like, worked in your sleep somehow. <laughs> and, like, you had to, like, get a second job that was, like, your dream job. And that was, like, the only way you could pay your rent was by getting, a like, a sleep job. <laughs> a sleep job. Yeah. 
That would be awesome. That <laughs> would be fucking horrible. I, I, I feel like in that in that sort of situation, it would be such an opportunity to like do whatever you want. You know what I mean? Like in my for my sleep job, I want to be like a sleep hot dog stand guy. You know what I mean? <laughs> just to like just to see what that's like. You know, really? it's like I got my real job during the day. During the day, I just want to give people hot dogs in their sleep. <laughs> that sounds great. Uh-uh. You know, <laughs> you pervert. Okay, so here I got I got. I got a question for you. Here's a here's a really good question. So there are three disaster scenarios. All right. Number one, zombie apocalypse. Fast, smart zombies eating your flesh. Number two, uh, massive solar flares wipe out all possibilities of electricity on the planet. No more electricity. Okay. Number three, n- uh, nuclear uh, holocaust. No wars, but for some reason, all the bombs go off in all the major cities on the planet. Okay. Which of these situations? Would you rather survive it? Well, you know, to be honest, I've always wanted to ask a zombie out on a date. You know, I think they're really hot. So it would I, eat I you. Think. It would eat you. It would eat. It would immediately. I mean, eat you could try it. That's really what you want. You would yeah, say, "Hey, hey answer. so I saw you over there, and I was just wondering, like, I, you know, you don't have to. You can say what you want, but I just, I was wondering if maybe you would like to. I don't know, go out sometime, and immediately it would eat you. You know, I, I would say this is what I would say. I would say. You know, I wouldn't be surprised, you know, I'd be really surprised if a dead girl like you was single, but, uh, you know, I've been, I've been watching that, <laughs> I've been watching you for a while. A dead girl like you. <laughs> In all of my liveliness, I've been watching you. And, uh, you know, I think that, you know, they say opposites attract, and I'm alive, and you're, <laughs> I'm alive. You know, I'm alive, and you're not alive. And, and you're dead, and, you know, I think we'd go together really well, you know, uh. Yeah, that's um, and, and then and then, and then she immediately she eat you. And then you know, you can. There are people in this world, Luke, who just fuck corpses. It's true. Necrophilia. Could, yeah, you could just be one of them. Don't do that, though. I already am one of those, but I always wanted to ask. <laughs> one out. I already asked. I already <laughs> wanted to ask one out on a date. You know, I wanted to do that. I always wanted. You you just been sleeping around, but now you're ready to. You're, 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 you're ready, ready to settle, ready down, to settle down. You're with ready my for some commitment. Commitment. You're ready for some commitment. I'm ready to settle in the grave. You know. Yeah. What happens when they don't answer you though? I mean, do they? Is it just like? Is it depressing or? You know, where do you go from there, you know, if you've been rejected by, you mean, by another corpse? You mean if you're having a one-night stand with a corpse and they don't talk back? No, like if you ask the corpse out, you know, and it doesn't respond to you as as it's dead, you know, like, how does I, that make you how feel? How do you deal with that? I just how, say, do you, how do you deal with that sort of rejection? How do you how do you live after that? I just say you're dead to me and I walk away. <laughs> oh! Burn. Uh, uh, all right, so, Luke, let me ask you this. Um, if, you, if you had a... If you had to choose um, between uh, um, the color blue okay. and, uh, and and a, and a, a purse and a purse, <laughs> if you had to choose between <laughs> the color blue and a purse, and not just any purse though, this purse has like lots of pockets, like a Tiffany's and purse. I don't even know what that is, but sure. And uh, <laughs> and uh, and you know, there's a dog in it, and it it can poop in one of the pockets. And then that it turns into like really good candy. <laughs> it's like a really awesome purse. <laughs> if you had to choose between that, but the other thing to choose is the color blue. Which would you choose? Well, in order to be honest, I uh, on a daily basis uh, there's almost never a time when I'm not feeling blue. So I think that uh, a purse with a candy shitting dog would be a good ch- change of pace. You know that is. That's a good point. You thought way harder about that than so than, often. Than either of us thought about what we were asking you. <laughs> we, we, fucking, we just say this shit. People give us like really thoughtful answers. And I'm like, well, I'm just I'm making this stuff up, up, guys. I, I'm an right. existentialist, I think, yeah. a lot. What oh, about... Oh, uh, do we, we, one thing we've asked before. Do you know about Chaos Muppets and Order Muppets? Are you a Chaos Muppet or an Order Muppet? Fucking chaos, Muppet. Yeah, man. I yeah. totally think you're yeah, a chaos. Yeah, that is a stupid yeah. question. Yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah what the hell's wrong with you? <laughs> How long have you known me for? Yeah, stupid. Um, all right, Luke. What about uh? To, can you tell us um about your uh about your hair a little bit? <laughs> well, um, not your the hair on your head though. The hair on your arms. All right. Well, it's all natural. It's not dyed. That's um, good. That's healthy. 
you know, I mean, it's arm hair. It, like, starts at my armpit. You know, I've never I've never realized what nice arms you have. Thank you. You know, I, it, uh, the, there's a severe lack in my leg department, so I... You make up for so it. So you make up for it. That totally makes sense. <laughs> yeah, I have sexy arms, you know. That's and, awesome. That's what the girls you like. You got nice hands, too. You got strong hands. Oh, yeah, you know, and I got the fingers of a piano player. I got strong hands, and I got... Long fingers to play with. Yeah, was it? Weird. Was Don't it, say that's what she said. Was it? Um, um uh, which guys? Piano players? Beethoven or the Russian Elton guy? John. Tchaikovsky or both of them? I can't remember who who sliced the webbing in their fingers up to the knuckle so they could stretch farther and do more chords with pianos. I think that. Uh, yeah. I, uh, I've heard Beethoven, I've heard Tchaikovsky, but Tchaikovsky's hands were gigantic anyway. On a similar note, do you think that Plastic Man, who would be a better pianist? Plastic Man or Mr. Fantastic from the Fantastic Four? Because both have the power to stretch their limbs. So which of them would do you think would be a better piano player? Mm. Oh, Mr. Fantastic. Mm. Wait. No, is, no, is, no. Is Luke answering this? I, anyone can answer I don't know. I feel like he was a sophisticated right. guy, you know. Yeah, he's definitely smart. But here's my here's my thinking on it. Mr. Fantastic is smart and stuff, but Plastic Man has like the the history of a criminal and sort of the the culture, you know, that that would come with that sort are of Are criminals lifestyle. good pianists? Well, I don't know if they but they you know, are. I'm assuming he's he's hung out in a lot of bars and like heard a lot of piano, probably stolen some pianos. Uh, yeah, well, you know, they're, uh, criminals, they, frequently, they'll stand on the, the, like, on top of a building that a piano mover is moving a piano, and they'll cut the rope so that it lands on somebody. There you so go. He's got that Perfect. He's got the, he's cut the ropes yeah. of the piano, so of course he knows so, how to play so the piano. Maybe. Yeah, he knows about the ins and outs of the piano, he knows about the weight of it, how, how many pieces it's going to smash into when it lands so on So what it, you're telling me is that, is that, is that. Mr. Fantastic would be a great classical pianist because he can stretch his fingers. But um, Plastic Man would be a great um, avant-garde uh, noise, like chaotic noise musician, having nothing to do with his stretching ability just because he would he's good at dropping pianos because he's an ex-villain. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, well, you know, Al, good point. Al Capone's <laughs> a good piano player. Al Capone, you know, we, was he... Sure. Yeah, you know, Luke knows him. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> of course I know him. I was in the cell next door. He was you, in the cell, you, he was in the, he was in the cell next you door. You and Al and the Birdman. Yeah, you know, they're yeah. all Harvey Birdman. Yes. They're all living together in the in the in the mitochondrial mixture of of a an elephant. You know? Al. They're all living in cells right next to each other. Yes. I also knew Andy Dufresne, for those of you who have seen Josh Ank Redemption. Andy yeah. Dufresne? Yeah, uh, the, the main character in that Stephen King thing Andy in the prison. Robbins. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Andy Robbins. Dufresne was a man who could get porno for us. Yes. Put it up on our walls. All right. Oh, well, let's, it, oh go ahead. One sorry. quick thing for your website thing. Oh, what yeah. You were saying strange websites. Uh, you know, you just, you said Thor, and I added an end to it, so I was thinking, you know, Thorn Porn? Thorn Porn. Porn. Dot com, you know? Let's look that up on our own later. Alright. Uh, because that sounds a little, that sounds, that's even further than Torn Anus or It's Botanical labia. Porn. No, yeah, I don't know, man. I can see. It's Botanical Porn, you know, stick your thorn in. Woof. Uh, all right. Well, Luke, tell us a little bit about your uh, stuff. My stuff. Yeah. Well, uh, I don't know if you want to know about my deep dark stuff. What whatever stuff. Whatever uh, stuff. Stuff. The, stuff the stuff in the thing. The first right. thing that you think of when you hear stuff. You want to know all about my stuffing? You know, Thanksgiving's coming up. Yeah. Well, yes. I'm, uh, Thanksgiving. Talk about Thanksgiving, man. Take yeah. us a lick, Wobble Gun. Secret. To the awesome stuffing in Turkey is chocolate and Whoa, tomatoes. Really? Chocolate and tomatoes. Do you really put chocolate in your turkey stuffing? Of course, tomatoes, man. Ch tomato, <laughs> tomato <laughs> sauce. Tomato and tomatoes. It goes so well together. Tomato, tomatoes. <laughs> fill your fill your turkey with tomato sauce. <laughs> tomato, tomatoes. Uh, Let's call the whole thing off. Anyway, uh, that's pretty fascinating. Um, I enjoy turkey stuffing. Uh, 
Thanksgiving is one of the few days uh, I don't eat, you know I don't eat meat, and Thanksgiving is one of the few times that I allow myself to uh, eat uh, the meat. stuffing. No, not meat, but oh. the stuffing that is cooked inside the turkey. Because um, okay. you know we we do that, and then we also like just cook uh, stuffing, you know, like in foil, the same the same sort of stuffing, uh, and it's really good. Um, so you eat stuffed foil. Yeah, instead yeah. I of, just slice the foil. Yeah, yeah okay. I just slice through the foil, and it's you know it, it provides a nice sort of texture that complements yeah, that gooeyness uh, of the sort of the gooey crustiness of the bread. You know, aluminum aluminum is uh, is good for you. Uh, you know, is it? You know, they say that you need to have a certain amount of iron in your diet, but what they don't say is that aluminum is also a yeah. Good. It's like it's, what is it? It's like it's like at least. Nine million milligrams of aluminum a day, right? Yeah, yeah. It's a, and it's a great supplement. You know, if you don't get your iron for the day, aluminum is actually better yeah, for you. Yeah. Sometimes when I have the time, I just take a roll of aluminum foil, and I'll just just kind of sit there, just you know, just unwinding it and stepping it down my throat. You know, slowly letting my stomach acid digest it. Um, and it looks you shit it out, and it looks like it's just how it was. You know, it it's looks amazing. Like, it's, it's like, like corn, right? It's not, yeah, just, it's not. It's actually you have extracted a lot of uh, nutrients from it and stuff. Yeah, and I can just I tear it and just rip it off, you know, and then just put it on my food. So it's like corn. It's like it looks the same on the way in as it does on the way out. When you so for Thanksgiving, you're gonna go back up to Maine for Thanksgiving. You didn't answer my question. What oh, was that? A, was that a question? I thought that was a statement. <laughs> I thought that was just a statement. <laughs> what are you trying yes. to say? Yes. Yeah, the answer is okay. yes. <laughs> you're trying to send me home, or, you know, you just like cut me off. We're, we're, we're going to be ready me. pretty soon, right? You're going to be the fuck out of our state, right? Pretty soon. <laughs> I don't know, man. You know, I'm, I'm like a disease. You know, I'm like a black cat on Friday the 13th. Once I'm here, I'm here, and you better fucking deal with it. Mm-hmm. Did you know that uh, the full moon is unlucky if it's on a Monday? Hmm. Like it is tonight? Like it is tonight. Well, you know. Watch out, Freya. I'm uh, get some competition. I'm I'm so unlucky that I'm so used to it that it actually makes me lucky. So I don't really care. Wow, that's impressive. All right, I have a question for the both of you. Now I know I know you and me do the same the same thing, where if you see a penny on the ground and it's face up, it's good luck. So you pick it up. But then it's negative luck if you don't pick it up. If you thought about picking it up, but then. If it's tails, you flip it over and it's good luck. And then you get the same, you know, kind of negative... No, that's not true. What? If it's tails, it's bad luck. If it's tails, it's bad luck. So you flip it over and leave it for someone else because they'll have good luck. No, they'll have good luck. You still have bad luck. Even though you flipped it over? Yeah. Oh, shit. Because that would be the same... Then that would essentially be the same as you see it, but you think, I'm going to leave that so someone else could have good luck. You don't get the good luck from seeing that pen. I know. You don't get the bad luck either. I don't know. I feel like there's a karma uh, associated with the two. Anyway, oh shit! Now I forgot what was gonna. It's ask. a really complex. Okay. Uh, philosophy. Okay. Basically, I want to know about if you see the face-up penny. If you don't pick it up, you're trading that luck for karma, with the intentionality of leaving it for someone else. Thoughts on this, guys? Um. Hold on. What was that? A question or? It was. Restate was, that. Yes, then... Do you, do you think that not picking up the lucky face-up penny is a good trade-off for the karma that you receive, which is also kind of like luck, for leaving that penny with the intention of someone else getting its luck? Yes. Okay. Mm. I don't know, man. I feel like later in the day you're going to go to the gas station and that uh, Mega Bucks ticket's going to be 2 bucks, and you're going to have $1.99. Oh. So, but then you can you just know. take a penny, leave a penny. Yeah, but most of our redneck stations don't have those systems. Here's another brain twister for you with pennies. Say you're walking and there's a glass ceiling and there's a penny on the glass ceiling and you look up and you see it, but you see the tails. Do you get good luck or bad luck? Because it's technically face up. No, I, but you're I, looking at the tail side. I think I think that oh. you I think you oh. still get good luck. I don't think the the direction you're looking at from matters. I think it um, means a piano is going to fall down. All right, we got one minute left. Brian, let's sing some comments. All right, we're going to sing the comments. Ready? Here we go. Oh. One, two, three, go. Uh. Brian's shirt about it's Melody 
Ego shirt. Cool, right? You can hell, you should bring back sports with me, Mitchell. Thanks for watching. We're cracking on Mondays with Brian the Bastard. Thanks for Luke for coming. Thanks to Luke thank for coming you. on to the show. It uh, was an honor. I'd like to thank all the people that uh, also were there watching. Our viewers, I'd like to obviously. thank our, our, our whole team of producers who brought me tea. Our whole team that brought you tea. Yeah. That whole team of producers. Well, they all, only one of them actually brought me tea tonight, but they all, you know, they're all backing us up. They're all backing they're us all up. They're all boiling your water. They're all, yeah. it's, it's crazy. Uh, anyway, thanks for watching the show. Be sure to tune in next week. Check our Facebook page for those links to the Corn Maze and Star Wars. Um, send us. Try out for Star Wars. Try out for Star Wars. Send Complete us. Complete the Corn Maze. Send us some links of interesting things you see, news and whatnot. Uh, there's a cat over here. Right there. Look at her. I can. Um, okay, good night, everyone. Bye. Bye.